Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The punter Logan Cook set to start the proceedings, and we are underway here in Jacksonville. This taken in at the goal line. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And the Jags grab it. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Well, it's hard enough to play on the road in this league as it is. But to start on the road with a fumble on the opening kickoff, just not the press fit you obviously want to set. Not at all. And now it's just words because they've talked about it all week from the time they start game planning for this one. Remember, going into hostile territory, we have to set the tone right in the beginning, and they do the exact opposite. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Another tote for ETN. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Rolling to his left. Throw left side complete to Ingram. All that for a two-yard gain. Second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. ETN is in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. To the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. First and 10 at their own 18. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Then he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play quarterback in this league, and he does a terrific job there hustling in quickly to make the play. On second and 11 now, Garoppolo to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Garoppolo now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis ETN. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And some space here. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Garoppolo now, first down throw. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the counter, ETN. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Charvarius Ward there to make the stop. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. A give to ETN running right. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They got five through the air. Last play, now five on the ground. First and ten. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back -back five yard games. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. And looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. Pass the 20. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better. There he goes, left side. The 40. 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And I'll tell you what, what a bird's eye view I've got here because that was absolutely something else to watch. Not a lot of wiggle in that. That was catch it and go, and he used those wheels of his. That's a devastating effect. And if you're looking for proof of his speed, Next Gen stat shows that he was traveling just over 21 miles an hour there. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. Finding space at the 40. Finding space at the 40. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's another first down as they look go, his way go. again, this time 19 yards. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk, 41 yards. And the Niners have cut it back within a score. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And they'll go again with ETN. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for a triple option, you've actually called that play. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. ETN up the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. On second and two, Lawrence. 
And it is caught at the seven. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis Etienne on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Jaguars will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 55 yards. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Gold with the extra point, and they're within seven now at 28-21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with Lawrence's arm, they may give him a shot to let this thing rip downfield. We'll see. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On second and seven, Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. From the 35 on second down, Lawrence. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now Lawrence to throw. 
And that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. On first down, Garoppolo. He'll dump that one off to Mitchell. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Here we go, here we go. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Dancing to his left. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and here pushing go, it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing, but credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle, for a Niner first down. Now Garoppolo. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress, and I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. McCaffrey will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Garoppolo. 
And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Foya Sade American. And the Jaguars are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field, but sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Here's Lawrence rolling to his right. And able to find Kirk complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On right, first and 10, it's ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. The slot man in motion right. On second down, ETN once more. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? What does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Oh, he's got, and now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis Etienne, 64 yards. And the Jaguars strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. the touchdown cook now to kick this one away 
Chris taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense takes the field again, CD. Remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they. He's got a man complete! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. To throw is Garoppolo. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jennings. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll come up now on second and a yard. the 10 and yes he's into the end zone so they get the late score they needed and now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute and while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown they're still down one that extra point is not a gimme here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion 21 21 Garoppolo to throw. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Well, they had guts to go for that, and they got it. Now, if you're the defense, you feel some major pressure, don't you? Well, they put it on you, haven't they? They've told you that you are the unit they believe in. We'll find out now if they can make it hold up. But boy, just going for it in that spot. I know, right? Amazing. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because... We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. He'll yeah, get this out to the flat for ETM. And he's going to have a first down as he's out of bounds to stop the clock with just under 20 seconds to go. Lawrence. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the means. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had, because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and ten. Throwing now, Lawrence completes it to Evan Ingram. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because now that they keep their eyes on the end zone, 
And they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side.